Hello, my name is Keith Litch, and I'm a customer support engineer here at Keysight Technologies. And today I will be demonstrating making noise figure measurements above 50 gigahertz. We'll be doing this two different ways. One is with the frequency range extender on the UXA, and then we will also be using the VDI down converter. Noise figure measurements above 50 gigahertz are becoming more common and more necessary as customers inevitably make measurements higher in frequency with wider bandwidth and you'll often need to make noise figure measurements on amplifiers and frequency converting devices. And so let me show you my setup. I've connected up our noise source with its 28 volt drive to the back of the analyzer to the preamp. So this is gonna be our plane of reference is after the noise source at the preamp. This, uh, so we're, cal we're calibrating everything from here backwards when you make noise figure measurements, your first amplifier is what largely drives your ability to make uh, noise figure measurements. That drives the noise figure of the entire system. I'm just using the SAX down converter for its voltage bias to, to power the amplifier. And then we've got our waveguide uh, to coax adapter. Uh, this coax cable is not needed. I'm just using it to protect uh, our frequency range extender. And I need to tighten all the connections. And then now we can set up the analyzer for making, uh, for calibrating the noise uh, measurement, noise figure measurement. So I'm going to switch from the SA mode to the noise figure app, preset the noise figure app. And then I need to make sure that my input port is external RF, so it's already set up. And then um, I need to set my start and stop frequency. My amplifier works over 55 to 67 gigahertz. So I'll start at 55 gigahertz, stop at 67 gigahertz. I'm going to set 101 points. And then I need to load my cal factors for my ENR source. So I'll just go and recall ENR table. And I stored it on my desktop. And so I can look at my ENR values in the ENR table. Here's all my ENR values. So that, that looks good. It's not giving me any warning messages, so I'll go ahead and calibrate. Now we've calibrated. We have the uh, auto coupled uh, scale. So we see around zero dB for our noise figure and zero dB for the gain, you, what you would expect for a good calibration. And then now I'm going to power off my amplifier and I'm going to add in the DUT. So I've added my amplifier, powered it on, powered back on my preamplifier. Remember this is our system plane of reference. So now I'm measuring the noise figure of this amplifier. And I'm getting about 8 dB noise figure, I don't know, about 19 dB of gain. One thing to point out is I can go into my uncertainty calculator and I can set up uh, the calculator to see what, see what my uncertainty is. A lot of the uncertainty is, is based on the uncertainty of the ENR values from the noise source. And NoiseCom provides uh, uncertainty values. But one thing is I need to add in my external amplifier. So, because I, I added an external preamp and then uh, my external preamp is the same as my DUT. After I do that, then I, I can automate my results and update them and I can find out what my uncertainty is. And you'll find out that the the uncertainty is largely driven by the uncertainty provided for, from the, the noise source. We support VDI down converters up to 330 gigahertz and possibly higher in the future. And this is our V-band 50 to 75 gigahertz down converter. I've done the same setup as before where I use the preamplifier. The preamplifier is optional. So this, uh, after the preamplifier is gonna be our plane of reference to add our DUT. And I've already done a calibration uh, and you could see a good uh, 0 dB noise figure and 0 dB gain. I've connected up our amplifier and now I'm making our noise figure measurement. 
and I'm getting similar results to what I got using the frequency range extender. I'm using an MXG as our LO source, um, and so it's being doubled. The, the LO is being doubled inside the VDI down converter. Now I've, I've put in our dot, and we're getting similar results to what we got with the frequency range extender, which, which is about ATV of noise figure and about 19 dB of gain. This measurement did take a little bit more setup. I had to set up our down converter, set up our source, um, but the difference is with the VDI, you can go all the way up to 330 gigahertz. So in summary, I've showed you two different ways to make noise figure measurements above 50 gigahertz. The frequency range extender uh, works over 50 to 87 and a half gigahertz. With the VDI uh, down converters, you can make measurements all the way up to 330 gigahertz.